profit. Johnny, who was interested in murder, not money, happily agreed. I grant ye the ability to summon my crew whenever they're needed. Matey, it's time for your lesson. Let's summon me favorite scurvy riddled hellion, the imp. Why don't you start off by summoning an imp to take out those enemies? There you go, matey. Now take down the other. are vicious. Now let's practice your aim. Take down the demons on the islands. Few things are as rewarding as pressing someone into service, am I right? Now get going! There's a whole wide world waiting to be plundered. I raided a Centerpol office and found information on where the president is being kept. Evidently, they've been trapped in some sort of soul crystal inside Satan's palace. Breaking in is an impossibility. The best bet to save them is to continue to try to draw Satan out of his palace. Lights up. William Shakespeare, humanity's greatest playwright, and hell's most diabolical purveyor of entertainment, looks on as a brave mortal on an Orphean quest enters. The bard's interest is piqued, and he looks to test his visitor's mettle. The masked tragedies were used to enemies cowering as they approached. But soon they realized that they faced a foe with courage and nobility. Traits uncommon in the fires of perdition.
inciting incident resolved. The time has come for rising action. The battle raged on below, and as bullets and blood flew, the bard arched a curious eyebrow. Could this mortal be the exact thing that Shakespeare needed? And now, Act 3! Conflict resolved. Shakespeare eagerly awaited meeting the champion that dispatched so many of his men. Undoubtedly, they were here for the Bard's aid. And while happy endings were not a thing found in hell, Shakespeare always had a soft spot for companies. In the land of the living, William Shakespeare is regarded as one of the most prolific playwrights of all time. However, to the denizens of hell, the bard is seen in a far different light. After selling his soul for fame and adoration, Shakespeare served in hell as Satan's spy master general. In doing his duty, Shakespeare would punish the souls he was investigating by forcing them to perform in grotesque passion plays for Satan's amusement. But in a Twelfth Night-esque twist, Shakespeare found himself living a double life. While he projected an image of cruelty, his heart was as soft as Jezebel's. In secret, he would tutor her on the classics and act out the works of his mortal days. When Satan found out, he cast Shakespeare out of the palace, believing that the poet would be tormented by the populace of hell, far out of Jezebel's sight. But Satan had not counted on the bard's cunning. Embracing his persona of master torturer, Shakespeare and his followers, the tragedies, took root in the entertainment district, biding their time for revenge. And so Shakespeare called forth the deus ex machina to bestow our protagonist with the arcane power of horse stock. Lights up. The mortal stands in the training ground, eager to try out his new force stomp power on the group of demons in front. This is what we see in Act 2, in which our protagonist is greeted by foul beats. This is good for us all. Our protagonist learns that Force Stomp even works on flying enemies, enabling them to remove a Dark Insider's shield before shooting them to death with bullets. The day is won, and the curtain closes on our noble hero.
This is bad. I'll go through every one of you. This is bad. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. of this children's song that drives you mad. This isn't pop music. You are a strange woman. Chance. We must end this infernal music! Come, let us return to my castle, so we may plot our next steps in proper surrounds. Johnny led Vlad back to his castle, which since his incarceration became a haven for frat parties and squatters. But the systematic impaling of trespassers would have to wait. Vlad was a man of his word, and was eager to provide intel that could aid in hobbling Satan's armies. I bestow upon you the Stygian cold fire.
I've brought you to this inferno to teach you about the power I have granted you. Cold fire is an aura, which means you must activate the power and get close to an enemy before they will feel the cold embrace of the Stygian flames. Try it against these demons! the dark inciter use your aura then get close to him to take down his shields from there you can finish him off with your pistol 